Welcome to this presentation. The work I'm going to present is about collision avoidance in collaborative robotics. Authors are Calegari, Palmieri, Palpacelli and Bonci from Polytechnic University of Marche and Cristalli from Cluster Marche Foundation. The presentation is organized in the following sections, starting from the introduction to the project and then going to the description of the research, articulated in offline path planning and uh, online motion control algorithms. Finally, main results will be presented. This work is included among the activities of the collaborative platform of Market Region, which is a consortium of companies and research centers acting on the dissemination of user-centered manufacturing and industry 4.0 technologies. The key actions of the platform are the URA research project on usability of robots and flexibility of processes, and the foundation of a new lab called eLabs, which includes an important section on uh, collaborative robotics. The aim of the work is to increase the usability of robots in an unstructured workspace where objects can move and interactions with humans are possible. Several types of environmental optical sensors are nowadays uh, available and can be used for the 3D acquisition of the workspace, which is unknown a priori. Once the positions of the obstacles are known, a collision avoidance strategy for the robot can be developed based on an offline path planning algorithm that allows for, to avoid fixed obstacles and an online motion control algorithm that compensates for obstacles that move and avoids also collisions between obstacles and internal points of the link chain of the manipulator. The offline path planning algorithm is based on the potential fields method, where a combination of attractive and repulsive velocity vectors are generated by the goal point and the obstacles respectively, and then applied to the end effector of the manipulator. The trajectory is then obtained by integration and then interpolated with a fifth order polynomial timing law. Fatter smoothing process is applied in order to eliminate sharp corners. This procedure is based on a closed form best fit using Bessier cubes, as you can see in the picture on the right, where the green original trajectory is transformed in the pink one. The motion control is based on a new space method combined with a closed loop inverse kinematics method. Besides the velocity assigned to the end effector, a no space joint speed is imposed, assigning an additional repulsive velocity to the most critical control point, that is the point along the kinematic chain of the robot that is closest to one of the obstacles. In addition, a dampened least square pseudo-inverse method is used to avoid singular configurations during the motion, and a compensation term for the drift of the position error is added. Here you can see an example on a simplified case, a planar robot with three rebel joints on a 2D workspace. Two fixed objects are between the starting and the goal points. During the motion, no one of the control points of the robot enter the dashed circles that delimitate the area of influence of the obstacles. In order to improve the reaction of the control to obstacles that are moving, a modification to the repulsive velocity vector is introduced. As shown in the picture by the red arrows, the direction is changed by a vector that is opposed to the obstacle velocity. The result is shown by the two animations. The modified repulsive velocity is applied only on the bottom one. Here the robot is able to avoid the moving obstacles, taking into account their velocities, whereas on the top the task is failed. The algorithm, initially tested for the simplified planar case, has been extended to a 3D workspace for a 7 degrees of freedom redundant manipulator. On the left, a linear motion is done in absence of obstacles, whereas two fixed obstacles interact with the robot on the right, modifying the trajectory of the end effector and the internal configuration of the robot in order to avoid collisions. In this last example, the robot on the right starts its motion without any perturbation on a linear path. When the moving obstacle 
approaches the area of influence around the manipulator, the control reacts with an online perturbation of the trajectory, which is then recovered till the final position is correctly reached. Thank you for your kind attention.